Assalamu alaikum, I'm Naila Edwards. I came across this video on BBC Radio 4 Women's Hour where Zara Mohammed, the newly elected Secretary General of the Muslim Council of Britain, was being interviewed. And uh, I'm just going to have a watch because everybody's been talking about this. How many uh, female imams are there? Um, in, in the um, UK at the moment, just because you, I presume we'll, we'll get to this more, but representing, of course, women, uh, which you will do as part of this. How many do we have in Britain? I mean, I think, again, I'm not, I, I wouldn't have a clue on these numbers because my role is making sure that we include our affiliates, particularly women, in the work that we are doing and making sure that um, we're, our structures, as well as the work we do, um, are truly representative. So I think that, do, you know... Do we, sorry, you don't know, that's, that's fine if you don't know, but do, do we have female imams in this country? I mean, again, it's not, what, are you referring... I really have a problem with this kind of journalism because she's already answered that she doesn't actually know the answer to that question. And it feels like it's really prodding. And Zara's answering and holding herself really well, mashallah. Um, such a difficult situation to be put in. I think she she sees that she's trying to be, you know, egged into a debate that she doesn't really want to get involved with and she's handling it really well. And I don't like it when reporters keep asking the same question because they want a specific answer. So let's see what else she says now. Chaplains, are you referring to women that lead the prayer? What are you referring to? And I think- well, You tell me, I, I, I'm, I'm genuinely intrigued to know. Of course, uh, female priests have been around for some time. Uh, we've also uh, seen the, the advent of female rabbis in this country. What is the picture for women leading prayer in Britain in, in Muslim communities? Well, I think my role isn't really to um, adjudicate or to, to examine that part of, of spirituality. I think where women want to make those choices and where, you know, that these are all religious discussions. Oh, no, no, Muslim of course. It was, it, it was just, I thought, because the Muslim Council of Britain's played such an important role in getting the number of Muslims, for instance, added to the census. I mean, that was done at the turn of of the turn of the century. So we actually knew how many Muslims there were. Do we, so do we have female imams? I think what's... <laughs> those two points don't, they don't make any sense together. The Muslims on the consensus and knowing how many Muslims there are and then keep going back to like women leading prayer. I mean, the important thing I think we need to note is women have been scholars and teachers and leaders in the academic and the, you know, the spiritual uh, education sector in Islam since the very beginning. Aisha herself, may Allah be pleased with her, narrated over 2000 hadiths. She taught countless men who went on to be scholars and leaders in their own communities as well, you know, to keep picking and at something that maybe isn't an issue, but is trying to be made into an issue just to spark some sort of controversy. And again, Zara's doing a really good job at just kind of redirecting it to what the MCB actually does focus on. The important for the Muslim Council of Britain, the work that we do is actually that it's not about defining, you know, or going into the, these types of questions regarding spirituality, but actually looking at how we can benefit our communities, especially given the pandemic and given of course. the role that everybody needs to be playing. Uh, and and think, we will get to know, the, we will get to the pandemic. It's just quite striking that you, you can't sort of answer that question. I recognise it's not a, a religious or spiritual role. Exactly. I don't feel like that's within the parameters of my roles and responsibilities, especially as, you know, the first elected female representative. Rep I mean, I would have asked a man, but I, I'm asking you because well, you're here. <laughs> I'm really proud of Zara. She she held strong um, in probably what was one of the more, or one of the first even very controversial sort of interviews she's been involved with. I mean, we're so proud to have her and having more female representation, representation in the you know, Muslim run organizations that really stand up for our rights and really, really push um, our communities and our needs and, and the issues that we're facing into the forefront. I know myself, many Muslim female chaplains, um, you know, which would sort of be the same sort of level that she's, she's trying to get to, but um, I think that was handled really well and I think it's important to know that women are very strong um, religious teachers and scholars. 
education and Islamic teaching by women 100% important in our communities. Zakallah khair, salam alaikum. Hmm. Wow, I love the fan art, you know. Zara was able to hold on because that was not the, 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 the area of concentration. That was not the main reason why we were having a conversation. And the, the journalist kept on debating, debating, asking her why I didn't know Muslim Imam. Because I'm sure she's surprised, in, you know, she's surprised that the, <coughs> the lady is one of the Muslim leaders. So she was like trying to relate it to, you know, Muslims not allowing their women or to be like, she wants to understand more about Muslims that if you can be a leader, then why is that there are some things that women are not allowed to, or there are some positions that they are not allowed to be involved in, in Islam. Yes, I know that was not the area of concentration, that was not what they are actually discussing, but I wish she actually answered that question because even now that the journalist asked that question, I'm more curious about the fact that truly, truly, is there a female imam? Like, when we have female pastors, female priests, is there, are there some, like, are Muslim women allowed to take the leadership roles or some leadership roles? in Islam, in their mosques, or is it that everything offers to the male, to the men? Yes, I know that what the journalist did was actually wrong from debating from the question, kept on asking them a particular question, but she's she just curious, you know, she just wanted to know more, you know, but regardless, that was a good interview, I wish the lady actually gave an answer even though it was not the area of concentration at that point in time. That was not what they were actually discussing about. But I wish you can give me an answer. But please guys, what can you say about this? Are there female imams? And if that's no, if there's there are no female imams, and why is, is it so? And are female allowed to are female elected for some leadership roles in in Islam? And if no, why is it not? So that's all I have to say guys, this was an interesting one and I enjoyed this lady's point of view about the issue and uh, you know, I wish she could have explained to us more about the question, the lady that I reacted to it but regardless of it, I enjoyed a point of view on it and I take on it, I enjoyed I take on it. Thank you so much for watching guys, for your subscribe and subscribe for more like, share and comment. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.